So hello everyone. My name is Neha Sis, and I have been working in IT for last almost seven years. I have experience in Windows and Mac OS management. I have also worked with multiple MDM tools like MECM at the starting, and then uh, switched over to Intune, and now also working with Jamf and Intune support. Also, I have worked with uh, ticketing tools like BMC and ServiceNow, the Microsoft 365 admin portal as well. So today's topic, I'll be discussing about the Mac OS Sonoma features. As you know, the Mac OS Sonoma has been released this week. On September 26, and it includes a very useful features, you know, for the end users. And then we need to also see what are the, all the features and what are the productive features that we need to be aware about. Let's see. It started with the WWDC event we had in June, and um, Apple has released the macOS Sonoma. But particularly for the developer, you know, beta version, it was having multiple bugs when we were trying to install and trying to use the features of macOS. But after uh, using after releasing multiple developer beta versions i think the last one was beta 5 and then they have released also the public beta versions and then they have released the you know the the stable version of mac os sonoma it includes a lot of bug fixes from the ventura as well which made it a bit better than mac os ventura however there are some additional features which were not there in the earlier versions of mac os sonoma so like as you can see in the back end the uh, the movement of the screen server as it was one of the highlights in Mac OS Sonoma, the screen servers becomes your wallpaper uh, when you log back to the screen. So let us see what are the all the features that are you know included in Mac OS Sonoma. So I've tried to include all the features. Um, before that, we have the eligible device list as well. So uh, Mac OS Sonoma has been um, is eligible on MacBook Pro 2018 and later on iMac Pro 2017 or later, and also on uh, Mac Studio it has been released recently on last year version and then uh, also they have the uh, new one in this this year as well so these are the eligible devices that are that can get the mac os sonoma now let us see the latest features so we have multiple features if i talk about one and one feature it will take a lot of time because there are multiple bug fixes multiple enhancement in small small you know additional features they have added to the existing feature so we'll try to see as you can see here a screen server which is video conferencing uh, in safari there were multiple additional features and then uh, PDF, it's editing. In notes, they were having multiple. And likewise, in uh, FaceTime, in AirPods, in um, AirPlay, in AirDrop, so multiple and multi on. So let's only see uh, the features that I, I can show in today's slide or today's demo session and um, how this can be helpful. So we'll start with the you know easy ones and then we'll go with the you know with, with the ones that are not much helpful. As I as you can see, I have taken the screen share as the last one because it is one of the most satisfying satisfying thing when you see it but it is not much useful in terms of making you productive so let's see what are the video conferencing feature we have right so i'll just start with the demo so here is what you can see i have the video conferencing feature here right see let me just try to make me visible okay i don't know if, if teams has this um enabled or, it or not so there are multiple features using mac os that you can make yourself visible like i have the back end with me in, in the background as you can see I have the portrait mode enabled so that anything comes here gets blurred that's one of the awesome features where if anything comes also it won't be much visible and then we also have the studio light so if I make it off as you can see this is the real background if I make it turn on then I have some studio lights that is coming particularly focusing on the presenter and then you can see the presenter in a better way uh, we also have reactions multiple reactions I can just click on the reactions one after another if you are seeing that on teams also is good and also it auto detect the reactions from outside like for an example if i say so in teams so if i do this does it work yeah it works on the teams or, or this one so it automatically detects the reactions and it automatically you know gives or changes along with the ar feature right also we have the mic mode feature so this is also one of the better feature in mac i believe when you have something going on in the back end and then you want to isolate your feature you want only your feature to be visible in teams that is you know by default is there but uh, in zoom or in other video platform when uh, you know connect with your colleagues your friends there are some background noises also comes in get detected you can turn it on voice isolation feature by default so whenever you go to any meeting it should not detect you know your background any music is running anyone is talking in the background it won't detect these are one of the you know features now if i now there is also one of the features the presenter slide this this feature is not enabled with the microsoft teams i believe because i don't see 
see that in here, but in that feature, let me see if I can show you that for a moment. So in that feature, we have, yeah, as you can see here, so you can show the presenter on the front end or as a minimal, uh, you know, version of yourself. So while presenting anything on the screen, the screen would be visible like as I'm presenting right, right now. And then also your small presentation mod will be visible. So presenter can see or like the end user can see who is presenting, you know, on the device that gives a multiple kind of feedback like who is the person in a presentation there will be multiple persons so we can figure out who is the person that is you know, presenting and and talking about now if i go to the second one the web apps feature and this is one of the you know, awesome feature when particularly our own website organization website and sometimes we also try to link that create a shortcut on the device so user can go and then do it so using web apps feature you can add it to the desktop so if you can see here I have this web app, uh, Microsoft 365 app. So if I click on this, it normally goes to all the Microsoft 365 apps and according to whatever permission, whatever the license I have, I can use it in one window. And you are seeing this plus button. That's because I have pushed this over Intune. So Intune also has this feature where you can deploy web apps. If I show you the web apps I have created using the Safari, I'll show you how to do it. So I have created a web app of LinkedIn. Now if I click on that, you don't see the plus icon over here so you only see the linkedin side so let me just show you so i have created a web page of my linkedin profile whenever anyone wants to log in or it should come up so as you can see i can go through or i can write an article and then take uh, create a web app for that and i i can ask all my followers to follow this so this is uh, one of the web app i have for device restriction and then it has all the settings over here that i can show it to the end user to go through and you can can't or go to another site from here if you create an from safari if i go to safari i give site of let's say anupsinai.com okay and then i also give author and then my name so i want only the articles of, uh, you know written by me should come here so i'll what i'll do is i'll create an web app so i'll click on option add to doc and then it will ask what the name you want to save it for so i've given a name of let's say nehas articles by snehasis and this is the web app link and then I click on add. So as soon as I click on add, this article comes up in here. So if you go here and as you can see here, it is articles by Snehasis over here. So the same can be done by Intune as well. To show this, let me go to Intune. So I already have a web app created. Let me just show you. So let me go to app and Mac OS and I have the web app created over here. This is the one. And if I go to properties, so you can see you can select the web app and you need to give the link of the app and you need to select the category and if you want this to be available in the company portal or no in the feature section so if i log into company portal the, the uh, option should also come and you can also provide the details the image of the web app and sort of things right so you can do edit or deploy the web app from the intune as well so the only uh, difference that we'll be seeing is the web apps that are deployed using intune will be having the feature to add uh, multiple sites along with with it as you can see in the feature section i have the web app over here and i can open the web app by clicking on open in browser and it will open it for me so the same way it will be available from the company portal and as well as on the dock or on the launch pad as well then comes the next feature we have that's the private browsing in safari so as i mentioned safari has included a lot of features and private browsing and profiles was one of the features we have in safari so let me go to here and i go to the private browser so in private browsing, you can turn on the methodology or the authentication by going to the option in settings where it should allow whether you need touch ID to view log tag in, in private browsing. And also you can do it for both the ways. So let me show you. I think it's in advanced. Yeah. So use advanced tracking and fingerprint protection in all browsing and in private browsing. So it should if, if you put it for all browsing, then when Whenever you launch Safari, it should ask you to authenticate with your fingerprint and then it should allow you to. And also there are multiple changes it does in private browsing mode. It removes the tracking. It, you know, does a lot of multiple things. Uh, enhancement with the private browsing as compared to Ventura. Uh, also we'll see the profiles over here in 
in Safari. So we can create multiple profiles in Safari on Mac OS Sonoma. So this feature was there in the Outlook article. If you have gone through my article, we were able to use multiple accounts on multiple profiles. Let's say we have a personal account, then my own personal account, and then I have an account for anuksinaya.com. So I can use that on my Outlook and then I can the account, the emails, the notification will be different from the personal one and the work one. Same way we can do in, in Safari. So if I go to Safari and if I go to a new window, it should ask me which profile I'd like to go to. So let I want to go to personal. Then whatever the cookies, whatever the history, whatever the bookmarks I have saved in here, it will be different from the whatever the cookies and history I have saved in my work profile. So it should not mismatch with each other. And also the autofill settings, particularly when you are putting any address, particularly when you are saving any history, you don't want your history to be shared, your settings, your autofills to be shared while using your work profile, it can be separated now. So that is also one of the good feature in Safari, right? Then we have the autofill feature. So as I mentioned, the autofill feature, it saves all the details. Let's say you, you're filling any form and then you already have your contact details, your address details are saved using the autofill feature, then it will automatically detect uh, when address comes and then it will show it to you and using the translation feature, right? So translation is one of the greatest feature I feel in uh, Mac OS, which you won't be finding in Windows. For example, if you see this photo over here, can you guess what is the language it is as it is not in English, right? Or let's say I am not aware of what exactly this language is or what exactly this words meaning for me i can sense it from the images but i want to know what exactly it is so what i, I can do is using the mac os i can take a screenshot of this whole thing let's say i'll just think, uh, take a screenshot of this and as soon as i take a screenshot of this two things i can do first thing is i can detect right the words from here so it automatically detects the words which makes it feel good if suppose i want to do it copy to some copy and paste to some other things i can do copy from a photo rather than typing it myself. So this is a very handful feature when you are trying to copy you know, anything. Let's say you have typed anything and then you're trying to copy it or you have you're trying to copy from the images. It is very difficult and this is very handful feature and then it saves a lot of time, right? And also the translation feature and as, as you can see, let's detect the words. So using this, it will automatically detect the words. It may be in different languages and as soon as I click on translate, boom. Now you can see using the translation feature I can see everything to English and I can do that for multiple languages as well so now if I switch it off this is German language and as, as soon as I click on translate I can see this is salad this is mashed potatoes and so on and so on so using this kind of features you can make use of the translation feature and which is very helpful if you are writing seeing any website or any images or, or anything so on if you are opening on Mac OS and if you want to translate it you, you know in within minimal usage of time and then autofill make an edit to a pdf over here just for the purpose of understanding this feature so i'll go to this pdf over here and as you can see this is a pdf over here and then i want to do some editing let's say this this feature pdf has some forms to be filled and i want to fill this form as you know I, we can't do editing in pdf using mac os we can so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna click on markup and using markup now i it automatically detects the letters what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna autofill so it automatically detects blanks and then let's say I and then my name is Nehasis, son of and then I can put my father's name and my address. Let's say Bhubaneshwar. It is easy for now. You don't have to do much of the things. You can just uh, using this features, you can easily edit autofill them. Even there is a autofill option over here. And then I have not enabled the iCloud contacts. But if I does that, then if I have saved my address over there, then I can make use of the autofill feature. And then if I say it so if i close it and reopen it you can see it is autofilled so editing over here is very much easy let me show you over notes as well so i go to notes i do the same thing i can open pdf in here let me do the markup so i click on markup and it let me mark up you know each things right so as you can see i can edit right so same way there are multiple things we can do over here it makes it a bit better for us it enhances the productivity power so we can make use of that feature and then within 
minutes or within seconds we can do use or, or do fill our documents without converting it to word and then editing it and then converting it to pdf again and then the screen servers so let me go over here so screen servers is also one of the awesome features as i mentioned earlier so this is one of the screen server if you see if you see there are multiple screen servers we have and particularly the modes right so if i go over here i'm not sure if it will be visible to you but let me try this out i'll use the lock screen feature as you can see it moves and it stops very smoothly that gives one of the awesome satisfaction to the user my screen server which was there on my screen which is moving and then when i log back in it stopped over there very smoothly, right? And then the last thing we have is the widgets. Obviously, there are uh, multiple features, but I'm not covering all of them here because that will be time taking the widget section. So if I click on edit widgets, now we can add the widgets. As you can see here, I have added one. So let me show you. I can add all the widgets. Let's say I want to add any Safari uh, reading list or any shortcuts, or if I'm aware of stocks, I can add the stocks and tips, weather and so on and so on. So I can let's say add this and if I am moving it, I can move it anywhere. If you see this gets animated in a very good way and you can keep it here. And if you want to remove, then you can just click on you can remove it or I, or else I can make it small or large and vice versa. Right. So it's it's on my screen presence. And because it is active right now or let's say this one, this is active right now. And whenever I switch to another screen, let's say this one. And as you can see here, this gets grayed out. Your focus does doesn't go here your focus will be on the screen and then this doesn't you know goes here the so gets grayed out so you don't have to look on the widgets and then you can look on the screen and so on and so forth so there are multiple features over here because time is running out lastly the features i'd be talking about is the configuration profiles that we have you know, only on uh, available for mac os sonoma so currently intune supports on mac os catalina and later versions but there are particular configuration profiles that are available only for mac Sonoma, let's check them out one after another. As you can see, these are the you know configuration profiles allow ARD remote management. That's for preventing user allow on uh, the setting of remote management setting. Bluetooth sharing, we can disable that as well. Preform user internet sharing modification, the local user creation. So if suppose in my organization I have this MacBook with another user and then I'm disabling this feature of local user creation, so it will prevent user from creating any local user from himself as an administrator even if he has administrator access he should not be able to do it and then multiple features like printer sharing modification remote apple events modification startup disk modification and time machine back if i can go here and show you the same so we have created a configuration of profile mac os sonoma so let me try to show you it okay i'm not able to find that but we can go ahead and then do it but the only thing is i need to show it one after another so let's say allow blue Bluetooth settings. So I'll just search with Bluetooth and then restrictions and allow Bluetooth modification. And then I can, you know, make it enabled or false, true or false, allowing user to change it or not change it. So that's pretty much it. Thank you for uh, to this session. If you have any doubts, we can cover it in the AHA session. <laughs>